Hello there everyone, I am Pepino here, and today, for our Kerbal Space Program tutorial, I am going to be teaching you my favorite design for a awesome Minmus rover that you can fly around on with your Kerbals. So, uh, this is a really fun craft, and I have built similar designs for it uh, a couple different ways, and so I'm going to show you guys basically just um, that what we're gonna do so uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to add our satellite pod because this is gonna be a satellite rover so you select this big uh, remote guidance unit here and then you put a docking port on the bottom of it then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one of these girders here and you want to put it so that it's uh, on the dot the thing is if you put your thing on here like you put the mouse cursor over the actual pod it is going to be off center and you don't want that so what you do is you hover uh, sideways and hover over it and then you see it'll snap into place like that so that means it's directly centered and that is what you want then uh, what you're gonna want to do is uh, there's a few different ways we're gonna do this basically the uh, plain and simple design is gonna be about like this um, Let's see, where's the docking port? It's under utility. We're going to put another docking port on top there. And the essential design is going to be wheels on the bottom here. And then we go to pods. And we get four command seats like that. There we go. So our Kerbals will ride there. And then we are going to add uh, under structural we want some more of these uh, girders but we want the big long ones and what I like to do is set the symmetry to 2 uh, turn on the angle snap and then hit A and it'll bring it back like this you grab another one with those same settings on you hit D then it'll bring it opposite make sure they're lined up as well as you can get them lined up that looks pretty good and they are even there so keeping your symmetry at two then what we're gonna do is we're going to add the wheels so plop down these wheels and let's see we want to turn angle snap off for the wheels actually so turn off angle snap and then hit W and there we go I like to place them out as far in front basically as you can and the thing is you want to get them even so what, what I try to do is try and have it just as low as possible whereas if you go down any more it'll turn red like that because you'll be off so if you set your mouse cursor as low as possible and maybe not as forward as possible we will go as low as possible and right angled up against this little central bar here like that that is a good way to ensure that you're gonna be able to match it up on the other side because now on the other side uh, we just have to turn this thing properly there we go and now again we can go match it up with the same little middle bar there and just try go as low as possible and there we go that is two pretty even sets of wheels I think not too bad not too bad so there is our basic rover design and I think you can see uh, now what the uh, what the idea is but uh, what we want to do is, like, we could do this right now here. Let's go and test this. Let's put on some generators, because we're going to need those. And some solar panels. Why not? There we go. Solar panels, and then we will just throw on... Uh, let's lift this up. Throw on a battery right there. And there we go. That is a little rover oh and if you can hear the cats fighting in the background just ignore that they are fine <laughs> um okay so we've got the basic rover here and let's get ready and just launch this thing I did remember just now we don't have SAS on this uh, we'll have to add that in a little bit but we don't need it right now so uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be adding to this, but this is just a proof of concept for this basic rover design. And it can turn fairly nicely. 
And the thing is, uh, we'll add all the extra stuff that Kerbals need to ride around on this, like ladders to get up just in case they couldn't climb up and things like that. But uh, as you can see, it handles pretty well, it's pretty stable. It's tough to tip this thing over too much if you stay on flat ground, which uh, on Minmus is pretty easy. There is little uh, craters or lake, frozen lake things that are absolutely flat. Uh, and how easy it is to land on Minmus is another reason it is ideal for rovering. So I would actually recommend you test out uh, your skills, if you are new at this game, on Minmus rather than on the moon. So, uh, we've got this. Now, let's get back and let's add uh, some more stuff to it. So, revert to vehicle assembly build. Okay. Um, now, what else do we need to add? Well, we need... SAS to control this thing because uh, not yet but eventually we will be um, we will be flying this thing around so we are gonna need some way to control it and then the other thing we want to do is we could bring this down we want RCS somewhere where I don't know we could move this SAS unit down to the bottom, but that would involve... Actually, hold on. If we lift this up, we can do this. Hold on. Lift this, remove this, remove this, um, and then place this here, plonk this on here, and there we go. We have rearranged our craft just a bit. Now we need to put these seats back. Um, you know what, let's even do the same thing with the battery. Let's get this all, all the weight down on the bottom. That'll make things probably a bit easier here. And then, there we go. Okay, where'd we put that little seat? There we go. And, boom. All right, so. That is our redesigned rover. We have changed things up, obviously, a little bit. But what I want to add to the top of this thing, I think, is a service bay. Or should we just add it all to the bottom? Maybe we should just add it all to the bottom, make it kind of like a little rover tower thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't want it to be too tall. But then again, um, we can't have it... Uh, or we have some stuff that we need to add on to it. So, what if we found... And I, again, I have not tested this in 1.0. This is an old design of mine. So I am just basically rebuilding this from scratch. Let's test this out and see how this handles. Um, and then we're going to see if we will go with this or if this is going to be too tall and unruly. So, back it up, step, go forward. Honestly, it's not too bad. It handles pretty darn easily. And on Minmus, it'll be even easier because there's hardly any gravity. So, I think we got a good design here. Um, we can turn pretty sharply uh, and do donuts and stuff without tipping over. So, I think that we have a winner. So, back to the vehicle assembly building we go. All right, um, now what we need to add is going to be all the stuff inside this service bay. Inside the service bay, we want to have at least a bit of RCS fuel. Uh, so let's add a couple of these. There we go. And that'll be our RCS supply. Um, we want to add, let's see, do we want to add more batteries and stuff? Do we really need to even? Or do we just want to focus on holding RCS in there? Let's see. What else could we add? We don't need any science stuff. If you are not doing this in sandbox mode and you want some science stuff, go for it. Um, we could put drills and stuff on this rover. We don't have a holding tank, but I mean, you could put one on top or something. That's another option, if you want. I don't know how well... I mean, on Minmus it'd probably lift up. But, either way. 
it'll be fine. I'll show you now. We've got our RCS in there. We could add more stuff. If you need more stuff, that's where you put it. But uh, I don't think we do. So, what we can add now is our ladders. That's another good thing to do. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to build this rover now. And then in the next episode, uh, we're going to show you how to build a space crane, which is a very useful object, uh, which takes things from orbit and lands them down on the surface of planets or moons. In this case, it'll be Minmus. Um, so we're going to do that in the next episode. And then after that, I'm going to launch this and hopefully successfully put it on Minmus and then uh, rover around and have a lot of fun. So that's what we've got in store for this uh, little series here. All right, now what we need is our RCS thrusters. So we want to have them at all angles, but then the other thing we need to do is we need RCS thrusters. Let's see, where are they? Um, are they under engines or are they under control? Oh yeah, they're under control here. We want them facing backwards at the backs of these things, okay? Just like that. And those are going to be our engines, basically. These are going to help us control things, sure. But, um, really, these things are going to be the boosters, because we're going to launch ourselves up, which reminds me we want to have a few on the bottom here as well. So we'll put them right there, and right there. Is that good? Is that pretty even? We should probably make it exactly even anyway. So let's put them right under the wheels. Make sure they're facing directly down and matched up with that little metal bar there. Little segment of the girder there. Okay. So that is going to be good. And the thing is, this RCS won't probably be strong enough to lift this basic rover on Kerbin. But on Minmus, it will. I hope. I think it should be. I don't see why it wouldn't. But uh, anyway, that is going to be the plan. So we will be able to use these RCS engines to fly and hover and land and stuff, and then our wheels to rover around. So basically, all in all, it should be a pretty fun craft to fly uh, once we get it to the surface of Minmus. But um, we cannot do that yet because we don't have a space crane built and we don't have a launch system and all that stuff but all of that stuff is coming in the next episode so thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time